So in video one, I went over really quickly setting up Wi-Fi VLANs with the Unify Wi-Fi 6 AP Lite and PF Sense. Now it's time to allow some of the IoT to work. So this is actually fast forwarding of a fail. I tried to cast a movie from my phone, from my Plaque server to my Chromecast and fail. So to get more logs, I figured I would try again from my desktop browser. But to my surprise, it worked. For some reason, OBX didn't catch the casting dropdown, but you can see later that up in the top, the casting icon turns blue, and then the screen duplicates over to my TV. I'm assuming it processes through the browser, and when using the app, there's an API. You can tell when I turn the casting off as the audio goes back to the desktop. Thus, so it worked on the desktop, and it makes sense because the desktop's on the LAN and the LAN has rules to allow initiating communication with IoT devices. So looking at the logs, you can see that my phone told my Chromecast, hey, go to the Plex IP, ask it for this media. And the Chromecast tries and my VLAN rules does its job. It gets denied. So initially I went about using an alias to try to address what looked like all the source ports of what the Chromecast uses. And that turned out to be a bit of an issue because it seems to use a very, very broad range of ports, as I found out later on. So I'm going to go and show you anyways. Um, aliases is a pretty neat trick in PS Sense. So I'm going to go to aliases and you can see right here, I already have an alias for all my Chromecasts, all their IP addresses, but, and also it here's port aliases for Chromecast that use uh, like when you when it reaches out to Google and whatnot. So I wanted to go and add an alias for these new Chromecast ports that I realized that my local Plex server needs for uh, Chromecast to work as well. So I was starting to add just more and more and more because every time I tried to cast, it would fail. And ultimately there was so such a wide range of ports that it uses. I just settled on not using the alias anymore. You can see there, I put a pretty wide range, you know, 100 ports, and it would have gone, maybe I could have stayed in a 1,000 plus or minus range, but I just ultimately said, if it's coming from the Chromecasts, it's okay to go to that specific destination IP, my Plex server, to that specific port on the Plex server. So I updated the rules and applied, and now I'm going to check out Splunk again, start refreshing it, because on the side over here, I'm going to my phone and starting to cast again um, to test out if this finally fixed it. And I went over to net data because I was actually also curious to see how this is how the transcoding is going to hit my ECU, my CPU rather, uh, while it's also mining uh, Monero, which is another video on my channel if you're interested. So it's starting to cast and I'm keeping an eye and you can see the CPU peg right there but it actually kind of settles down pretty good. And then I'll have a couple uh, ramps up here and there, but it's kind of good to see that I can keep mining in the background and, and be able to transcode. I don't see myself transcoding more than one or two streams tops. Um, I want to say ever, but you should be always careful when you say ever, right? But um, I'm going to also move on and see with the phone that uh, my idea that the phone is on the LAN and it can speak to the Chromecast via MDNS, uh, which is an exception we put in with the Avahi plugin earlier. And when I go to cast, it seems to talk directly with the Chromecast to tell it, hey, go over to the Plex server and grab this media. And now that we punch that hole through the VLAN, but not getting rid of the VLAN altogether, uh, now it actually works, which is uh, pretty awesome to have that success and still have the VLAN enforcement, though you can tell he's not really impressed over there. But I like it. I'm pretty happy. And so if you want to see videos of setting up those VLAN rules uh, earlier on, or rather the, the interfacing between the Unify and the PS Sense that's down in the signature, I mean in the description, and also the tidbit on mining Monero on your free NAS. And of course, please 
like, subscribe, and share. And have a fantastic day.